as we're right now in the Feast of Tabernacles for October 6th will be the seventh day, but then October 7th will be the great day they call Shemini Atzeret, the eighth day, the great day. And Jesus said in John chapter 6, verse 40, he said, And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Now, we don't know exactly the last day of what, the last day of the church age, we could say. Uh, but uh, just taking this specific terminology of the last day, we see that also Jesus used this same phrase in John chapter 7, the very next verse, the never, very next chapter, Jesus used this term, the last day. That is, on the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If any man, if anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. So in John 7, in John 6, Jesus said he would raise the believers up in the last day. In John 7, Jesus mentions the last day again. And that was, what is what was the last day? The last day was that great day of the feast. And that was specifically the day that come to be known as Shemini Atzeret, the last day. And this on Shemini Atzeret this year, is October 7th, according to the calendar that the Jews are going by right now. So that's just an interesting observation. And uh, what is Shemini Atzeret? Well, Shemini Atzeret is, uh, um, see here we see Shemini Atzeret, the last and greatest day of the feast. This is one for Israel.org. Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles, takes place in the seventh month, which is now known as Tishri. And um, so the uh, last day, Shemini Atzeret. This is the day of celebration. It's a day of rejoicing. So I just wanted to Share that as we're waiting and watching. And I'll also share that, uh, you know, dates come and dates go. And yeah, there's nobody's mentioned a date yet that's come to pass in terms of the rapture. But, you know, all the dates we hold in your hand, not in your heart, because only God knows for sure. And Jesus is coming soon, but we don't know the day. But we're watching and we're waiting. We're longing to see the Savior. And in regard to dates that come and go, be thankful for the time that you have on this earth. Every day God allows you to stay here. Be thankful for that because we have an opportunity to serve the Lord and be a light to lost people. But the way I think about those days that come and go, you know, if you give me a date, just so we, we, be, we know it's speculation, it's like a stepping stone toward, the, the, toward glory. It's a stepping stone toward where we're going. So don't lose heart. October 7th may pass. And then we have October 14th coming up, as Brother Steve and Brother Patrick have uh, shared some about October 14th. And then we have Hanukkah coming up after that. Only God knows for sure, but we see all the signs pointing to the fact that the day is coming very, very soon. So the Lord Jesus bless you and keep you and watch over you. The day is coming soon. And this could be the dawning of the great and glorious morning when the face of Jesus we behold. Dreams and hopes 
of all the ages are awaiting his returning and this could be the dawning of that day oh this could be the dawning of the great and glorious morning when the face of jesus we behold dreams and hopes of all the ages are awaiting his returning and this could be the dawning of that day god bless you all